Hello everybody! Guess what we're doing today? Today, we're going to be unboxing this! Autumn is finally here and along with it came my Autumn Cosbox! This is my second Cosbox unboxing. I'm going to be doing four of these. If y'all missed the first one, the link is showing up up here and probably show up as a card at the end of this video as well as a link down below in the description box. I highly suggest you check out that one because I go into more detail about what this company is all about and what sets them apart from all the other lifestyle subscription boxes. But I'm not going to do it here because if I do it every time, I'm just going to be wasting time. Here is the art that is on the Autumn Cause box of 2020. You can see there's representation of all walks of life on this box and it's very orange, very seasonal, very autumn-y, very pumpkin spicy. Let's open it up! Okay, so as always, every box comes with a Cosbox magazine that gives you all the details of every company that is showcased in this box, who curated it, who put this magazine together, this, that, and the other. Get a free PMD microderm when you refer a friend. You and your friend will also get a free PMD microderm when they join as a gift from you. <gasps> I'm going to be posting a referral code down in the description box below if you want to claim this gift with me. That's super cool. So definitely check that out if you want a free PMD microderm because I know I do. Hello. Here is the postcard that came in this season's box. First up, I see this. Tease glass tumbler and it holds 450 milliliters and I do think I did choose this item because it was either this or a lantern. This is cute though! Look how cute this is! It says Tease right at the bottom here. It comes with this little cozy. The cozy feels so nice. It's in this heather gray material. Love it. It feels so soft. Here is the actual glass container and I picked this because I really love how this tea bottle comes with like a built-in little canister and I got this with the mindset of gifting it to my parents in the future because they do prepare a lot of tea throughout the day primarily with loose leaves and I thought it was just cool that this like comes with it sits inside snugly and they could glug 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 and it's just you know really nice tempered glass with a little like wooden lid I think it's so cute mom and dad if you're watching I got this for you I hope you like it next up is this this is waffle what's it called i forgot what it's called but they said like waffle pattern towels in the color mint again i did choose this item between this and a robe that is made out of this material truth be told i already have like three different types of robes so i didn't want another robe i got towels because one can never have too many towels you know always bring a towel just in case it's the end of the world which it might as well be at this point these hand towels feel like it will be perfect for like in the kitchen and then there's also a bath size towel it's hard to tell how absorbent they are because they do kind of look thin but i do like the color so we'll see and i have two sets of each two hand towels two bath size towels can't ever have too many towels <gasps> I did not pick this item. This item is a surprise to me. I got a bamboo serving set. It comes with like a cutting board or is it a charcuterie board? Like can I cut stuff on it or can I just lay stuff on it? But it also comes with a wooden spatula and tongs which I think are really really neat. Definitely happy to have this. 
And the last three items in this box seem to be all cosmetic items. Let's first talk about this yellow one here because it's standing out to me. This is a brightening face serum, revitalizing, smoothing, dark spot reducing, complexion toning, tissue repairing. It also says in the back there's marula blackcurrant carrot inside of this serum. It has a dropper top. Ooh! And the liquid inside is also as yellow as the packaging on the outside. Let's try it on the hand here. I'm not quite sure what I may get out of uh, applying it to my hand. It feels slightly oily. Ooh! It smells very citrusy, citrusy and earthy, and it seems oil-based, but it gets absorbed into the skin very easily. Once it's absorbed into the skin, it has this very oily feeling that's left over. So I'm not quite sure if this is for me. This one right here is Volume Love Scrub 3-in-1 Hyaluronic Acid Red Tea and Seaweed Microderm Exfoliator. Um, ooh, it feels heavy. Can you guys hear that? There's like scrubbies in here, like big game scrubbies, serious scrubbies, real scrubbies. When faced with water, apply a small amount of product into the palm of hand, add a few drops of water, and work on face. Avoid eye area, rinse with lukewarm water. Interesting. Not tested on animals, which is great. Oh, the smell smells so lovely. Mmm, I don't know how to describe that smell. I'm guessing it's the red tea. I'm gonna try a small piece on the back of my hand. Oh, wow. So like, I'm gonna need a close up of this, but like a little bit goes a long way. The scrubbies that are in this love scrub are so minuscule, are so fine. It literally looks like salt. I think this is salt. I shouldn't have done that. It might not be salt. And I don't know why I just try to eat it. Um, Yeah, I'm in a weird place right now. I'm definitely gonna be using this. And I'll report back in the future about how I like it. This last thing here. Oh, it's reusable cotton rounds. Reusable and washable. Made out of bamboo fiber and cotton velvet. You can machine wash or hand wash. Dryer friendly or air dry. Cool. Oh, wow. It even comes with this, like, baggie. That's really cool. I wonder if you can, like, when you want to wash them and reuse them, you can throw this whole baggie in the wash and it'll act like a little like you know those little delicates or lingerie baggies that you throw in the wash Ooh. okay I'm a fan I'm a fan um I didn't expect the cotton rounds to be this big but I love that it's so big oh my gosh I'm like actually really excited to be using this to remove my makeup I feel like you know, like the Magic Makeup Eraser, it feels like the exact same type of material, even though it's not. But yeah, I feel like this will be very effective in removing makeup just because of like the way the surface looks and feels. Like the only thing I am hesitant about already about this product is I wish they gave me two bags because what am I going to do with the dirty ones if i use this back to keep the clean ones where am i going to put the dirty ones because i wouldn't want to lose one of these i would want to keep them all together you know so i feel like the only thing missing from this product is a second bag for like the used pads i'm a huge fan in fact if i like this enough once i get to using it you betcha i'll probably buy more of these that is all the products I received from this fall season's 2020 cause box. But before I sign off here, I just wanted to add this little bit at the end to talk about what I received in this summer 2020 cause box unboxing because, you know, certain things are really hard to judge from first impressions and I wanted to follow up with uh, the stuff that I used in my previous summer cause box. 
and my final thoughts on them. First off, this PMD cleansing brush, the item that started it all, the thing that caught my attention because I wanted it for so long and I saw that it came in a cause box. It's been months and months. I've been using this every single day, at least once a day, typically at night. Um, sometimes I use it in the shower because this whole thing is waterproof. Sometimes I just use it over the sink. If you guys are considering just buying this on its own, I highly recommend it because nothing compares to the feeling of your skin after cleansing with this particular cleanser brush. I love that silicone so it's antibacterial all the time. Just wash it before you use it. I haven't had to change the battery not once in the months that I have use this product and yeah i use it to wash my face to apply my serums everything and honest it is seriously the best this grace and stella say hi to hydration i received in my last cause box let's just say my first impression of this product was more favorable than actually getting to use this item uh i hate it <laughs> I hate it. I had such a bad reaction to it. I broke out. I became way more oily than I've ever been. And I'm already really an oily person. So that's saying a lot. Um, yeah. Did not like this. My first impression was way too nice than what I found when actually using this product. So mm. this Malu Protecting Day Cream and Sunscreen SPF 30. I love this stuff. First of all, let me backtrack a little bit. I never really just wear straight sunscreen. I don't like it. It always gives me this residual oily feel. I hate it. And I found myself on the days that I'm not wearing makeup to actually put this on because there are certain brightening properties to it. So I kind of feel like it does ostensibly for me smooth certain um skin tones because i have you know discoloration kind of smooths out the skin tone and texture and yeah i've been using this stuff on days i'm not wearing makeup no i'm going to be outside a lot and don't want to be um getting them sunspots which i am prone to this i would recommend to buy individually outside of the box if you're looking for a new sunscreen to use. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoy this bit where I revisit products from a previous unboxing and let you guys know my final thoughts. Let me know if you guys are even enjoying these Cosbox unboxings. Uh, there should be only two left, so if you don't like them, you won't have to suffer any longer <laughs> if you guys haven't already be sure to hit that like button click subscribe and follow me on all social media the information is somewhere on the screen right now and i'll see you guys next time bye bye